uh, sync uh, web application files first, just briefly make a case for them, and then I'm going to switch to more security. And then finally, in the what I think would be the most interesting part, uh, I'm going to talk about, I'm going to give a few real uh, life examples of how more security is used. So that part of the talk is kind of open-ended uh, because there's f there, there are too, too many slides uh, for a 45-minute slot. So we'll see how much we can, uh, we can squeeze in. Um, you already know about me, the, the important things, I wrote Apache Security, so which I think is uh, of use to anyone running Apache, and I'm better known these days uh, for um, working on more security, of course. I'm also involved with OWASP and uh, the Web Application uh, Security Consortium. And the reason we need web application files is basically we're in a big mess. Um, as you very well know, um, most websites and web applications out there are terribly insecure, which is no wonder because we're using a protocol that was designed to do something completely else. And I think this is the first example in our histo history, history that um, we had an ecosystem, actually, of components, each, where each component is developed by a different vendor, a, a di different entity, and all these components, be it browsers, databases, uh, uh, browser plugins, and so on and so forth, um, they're trying to work uh, one with, one, uh, with one another. And because there isn't a single kind of coherent view or strategy or architecture or anything of the sort, we're experiencing the, the problems that we're experiencing. Uh, today. So we've, and we've tried to, to make it better. We've realized, I think we've realized this sometimes around year 2000. And uh, the three major approaches to making things better is, uh, of course, uh, developer education. Um, we have design and code reviews. And then, of course, we have pandas testing. And uh, uh, of course, today uh, I'm going to talk about the fourth one, which is uh, about web application files. Now, uh, the, the thing is that there's a lot of controversy about web application files, especially in this, rec this year because of the uh, PCR requirement that would be that basically endorsed web application files in a big way. And um, uh, people often focus on the fact that it's much better to fix a problem in the code than to deploy a web application file to fix it. And that's absolutely right. Um, and however, uh, while there's some overlap between web application files and every other measure that you can use uh, to uh, uh, increase the security of your web, your web applications, there's actually a lot of uh, that, uh, man, there, there's a great deal of issues that cannot be covered with any other tools. Um, if you take a perfect web application that has no security issues whatsoever, um, that's fine, but if you put it in production, you're going to have configuration issues. Um, and if you look at the real life problems, actually, a great deal of, problem, of, them, of them come from uh, configuration uh, problems. And then there's also another uh, group of problems that are simple operational issues, such as the rate of access. Um, and um, uh, the real issue that well application files need to solve is that of the lack of visibility. Um, lack of visibility is one of my reasons that I, why I built more security in the first place. If you, in a typical web application, you have no idea what's happening. The way web servers do logging, that's completely inadequate to give you any idea kind of whether, if you're being attacked, why, how, and so on and so forth. So this is where I'm coming from. This is where I think web application files uh, should, should be coming from. Of course, the additional and I'll be talking about uh, um, why web application files are necessary. Um, in a way, they're complementary to uh, IDS and uh, IPS systems, in that the IDS systems are designed to work on network level. Well, web application files are, are uh, uh, tools of similar nature, but they're designed to work on the HTTP level. Um, and uh, uh, this, is, this is a slide I've had in my presentations for, for many years now. But the biggest problem is with the IDS tools is they're, they're designed to work uh, to apply simple operation, operations against a lot of traffic and to really counter the HTTP problems and problems with web applications, you really have to dig deep. You have to dig deep into uh, parsing, you have to dig into counter evasion and, and all sorts of other, other problems. Of course, web application files have long had the problem with identity. 
in that, that no one really knows what they are and what these, these tools do. And this is one of my favorite slides where at least 23, I think, na different names that were used to refer to products that we now know as web application files. Um, so over the years, we, we've just, the, 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 the one name stuck. Um, and if you really think about it, the name itself is not adequate at all because it implies an exclusively access control de device, uh, which is what files are. However, web application files are much more. If you think about it, in, 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 on the network level, we have routers, we have switches, we have uh, um, uh, firewalls, we have all these IDSs, and in the, all these uses are actually uh, um, available within the same device on the HTTP level. So here I have four different use case scenarios for web application files. And the first is, in my opinion, is the most important one is auditing and monitoring device. So this is what I mentioned before, is something that actually is, uh, gives you visibility. And if you don't have visibility, then you don't have any control. So that's why I think that's very important. So it's a product that you put in. It can be a plugin. It can be a box. It doesn't really matter. You put it in, and it suddenly starts seeing things. And because it's going to be uh, smart and understands HTTP very well, it's going to be decoding things, it's going to be parsing things for you, it's going to make your life much, much easier by providing you access to, only, uh, to the data that's, that's being exchanged. Um, and from this use case, you actually are going to discover what's happening, and then you get to choose what you're going to do about it. So some people uh, choose to do nothing and then perhaps um, uh, observe attacks as they're, they're, as they're happening. Some people choose to, to do blocking. And in fact, virtual patching, uh, which would fall under access control, is a very good use case for web application files. Um, if you have a vulnerable, uh, vulnerable, vulnerable application where, it, where you've just discovered the problem, uh, to fix that application in, in the code, that, that's going to take a long while. Um, how long, it really depends on the, on the uh, organization. But chances are it's going to be measured in weeks, uh, maybe even months. With a web application file in place, you could realistically do it in 15 minutes, assuming that the, the product has already been configured. So this reduces the window opportunity of, um, of, uh, that's available um, uh, to the attacker uh, significantly and allows the developers to actually focus on solving the, uh, solving the real problem and not just scrambling up a patch uh, quickly. Of course, there are other use cases, such as layer 7 routers and switches. This is only if you, if you work, uh, uh, deploy web application files as uh, reverse proxies. And there's a, there's a catch-all category, which I call web application hardening tool, which is just a bunch of other functionality that uh, cannot be categorized, but each, function, uh, each part actually helps um, uh, improve uh, security. So I personally think that the, the name, the term is overloaded. We should either, even either stick to, uh, uh, s switch to using different terms, or use something that uh, doesn't have the word firewall in it, such as uh, web intrusion detection system, which I find much more palatable, or uh, something around HTTP security uh, monitoring. So if you're interested in web application files and you um, uh, considering deploying them, well, I've started a project some time ago, uh, which is called Web Application Firewall.